Welcome to week 42 of Reselling Full Time in Australia. My name is Michaela. Welcome to the channel where we talk all about flipping online for a profit, saving secondhand items from landfill, and helping Mother Earth while we're at it. It's Sunday night, so let's post out some beautiful treasures. This weekend has been really good in sales. I've had 25 on eBay, two on Depop, and a bunch off Facebook Marketplace. Let's go through a few of the themes going out today. First up is a really good bundle. Deal. I sold three items to one customer. They have gone for $20 each plus combined postage. A gorgeous silk tunic. This went for $29 plus shipping. It's a basic women's blouse. It's nothing interesting. This came in a bulk deal. It went out for $15 plus shipping. I love selling Kathmandu because it always goes fast. This is just a little basic t-shirt. It went for $19 plus shipping. These next two pieces are a pretty incredible story. Meatloaf passed away this week and I saw the news on my Facebook and then about an hour later I sold this shirt and this this shirt together to the same buyer. It's pretty interesting how the market goes like that. I did have them on sale at the time because I've had them for over eight months and I hadn't had any offers or anything on them. And so I'm really hoping that this goes to someone who's going to treasure them. Otherwise, it's another reseller who's taking advantage of the market, <laughs> which is totally okay as well because I miss this um, opportunity to keep it on longer. But at the same time, I am so happy they're out the door. I picked them up for two dollars each this one went for a hundred and twenty something I'll put up the sale up here and this one went for fifty something so very very happy with the sale and I know somebody is going to treasure them the classic RM Williams shirt this went on offer for thirty dollars plus shipping just a basic taking shape top this went for twelve dollars plus shipping I wouldn't pick up such a basic piece from taking shape but it was part of a bulk deal and it made my job a lot easier so happy to see it go out another bundle deal these two sports craft women's pants they went for $38.50 together plus postage just a little basic country road cardigan this went for $20 plus shipping a Uniqlo jacket this went for $22 plus shipping a little corporate Jackie E skirt with really cool button details on the back this went for $15 plus shipping a basic t-shirt bra new with tags again came as a part of a bulk lot this went for $15 plus postage. A really beautiful Veronica main top with incredible sleeves. The pattern is gorgeous. I took an offer of $24 plus shipping and it's got the smallest little pull here and I um, was happy with an offer on that one just to get it out. This was a really quick sale. It took a few days. A really lightweight jacket by Taking Shapes went for $22 plus shipping. This is the cutest skirt ever and I have no idea why it sat in my store for so long, but it went on sale uh, this weekend for $18.90 plus shipping. It's a vintage, it's got elastic, a zip, it's got the cutest little button detail. I'm so happy it's going to a new home. This is definitely a bolo book. So it doesn't look like anything interesting. It's just a true crime story. But when I found this, there was only one other one that had sold in Australia, none listed, and that one had sold for $55. This one I listed for $55 and I took an offer of $48. An adorable vintage red leather handbag. This one went on Depop for $24 plus shipping. Awesome bundle of Humphrey B Bears that I picked up in the garage sale last week. These went in less than 24 hours for $89 plus shipping. I listed these guys together because they are so old and they do have a bit of wear and tear. I know that they were going to go to a collector and selling them as a bundle was a lot easier for me and a lot easier for a buyer. So I'm so glad they went so quickly. Another item that sold within less than 24 hours was this 100% pure wool blanket that I got at the same garage sale as Humphreys and this went for $45 plus shipping. Last item to show you tonight is this amazing vintage leather jacket. There's so many details to this. It's got suede on the inside and an amazing paisley print there. It's made in Korea. This went for $69 plus shipping on Depop. I have way too many free boxes at the moment so everything tonight is going out in boxes instead of satchels. To 
today I'm starting my morning by giving away a massive piece of furniture and I know that sounds a little bit interesting because usually reselling is all about the hustle and grind and making as much profit as you possibly can but for me a huge goal is making sure I'm nurturing and supporting and growing that circular economy especially in my local area and so for us we have this really big piece of furniture that was left by the previous owners of our home and we just don't use it and we would rather it just go and be used and loved. It's really big so the buyer does have to remove it and get it to the new location and I'm not helping with that. So I didn't want to put a, a silly price on it. All we wanted was for it to go. We've been really fortunate that most of our furniture is secondhand and has been given to us and anything that we have needed we have purposely looked for secondhand first. So in our front lounge room where this big cabinet is, the rug is secondhand, the coffee table, the big lounge setting, the side table, the TV cabinet, the TV, and then we also got a new lounge this weekend. But of course it's not new, it is secondhand as well. So we jumped onto Facebook Marketplace and found the perfect lounge for just $250 and the guy delivered it to us as well. So that's something we always try to do is always try to look for secondhand first and Facebook Marketplace is so good. So if you're looking for something, if there's something on your list that you need, look on Facebook Marketplace and Opshops first. Okay, it's gone. I'm so, so happy that that cabinet is gone and it's gone to a place where it's going to get loved and used. I'm so, so happy. And <laughs> the lovely lady even gave me 20 bucks for it, which was not necessary at all. I'm just so glad they picked it up and within 24 hours of saying they would, which is even better. So a uh, good start to the week. Snoopy and his clothes turned out wonderful. So he's looking really schmick and then his shirt and two little socks are back to being white. So I soaked them for 24 hours in the sard and just some basic soap and then put them through the washing machine and they've come up really good. Something I'm ticking off the list this afternoon is cleaning this bar mat. It's just got a, quite a bit of staining there in the white. So I'm just gonna use this Aldi stain remover. And we've got a toothbrush that we only use for cleaning. So it, <laughs> it's not an old one. It's just one that we only use for cleaning. And I'm just gonna get in there and scrub it. Fingers crossed it comes up quite well because my last bar mat sold really well and really quickly. Oh, washed and dried now and it came up perfectly. I have started with a new alphabet system on my custom SKUs because I've needed more boxes. I got to Z and I need more room. So I've started three more boxes already and these things are listed. They're already selling. So I need to make space somewhere else because this is full. So let's go up to the garage and make some room. So this is my garage situation right now, which is a boring, I know it's terrible. It actually makes sense to me though. I know exactly what's where and I guess the organization behind all of this, but we definitely need a tidy up. One of the biggest issues I've got right now is this, all of this here is the baby stock that I need for the markets and it's all together in its place ready to go for when I have a market to go to. But for now, it's just sort of sitting there in the way and very unorganized for eBay. So that's very frustrating. It just has to sit there, but um, we can definitely condense the lanterns. We can den condense some of this. Um, pretty much that whole top row is going to go. It's old stock that has not sold and I'm going to donate it. So let's take off that first and go from there. So as I take each bag down, I'm going to delete it off Facebook Marketplace and eBay straight away. And then it's going straight into my car boot to go to Vinny's this afternoon. All right, that's a little bit better. And I'm glad I've got now more storage there. I can fit two more boxes there. And then the next task will be... Going through this bottom shelf, which obviously you can't see, I actually don't know what's back there. <laughs> so I need to go through that bottom shelf 
And then eventually, once all this stuff moves, I really want to condense this entire shelf to make room for all of these boxes to fit on there. So last night I shipped with everything in boxes, 100% plastic free still, but this is a really great way that if you're just starting out, reselling or another small business, is to find free boxes from local businesses, local retailers, Bunnings is a fantastic one. They always have boxes spare at the front and use those for your packaging. You start small. So eco changes don't have to be complicated or expensive. Using items that are already available is the first step. So even if you're using boxes that still have sticky tape on them and you're still using sticky tape, that is a great first step on your way to making eco changes. You don't need to buy brand new boxes. You don't need to buy brand new compostable satchels when you're first starting out. Head around to your local small businesses and Bunnings and stuff and just see what's available to you. For me, my husband brings all of the boxes that they receive at the pharmacy back home for me. And so I have a massive stockpile at the moment. So one of the things I did on Facebook Marketplace this weekend was actually give away a whole bunch to, I think it was a local preschool. I just put the listing on Facebook Marketplace and if anybody needs boxes, they can have them. Then that's why I decided to list, um, sorry, to ship everything last night in boxes because I had so many stocked up at the moment. So I'm going to be photographing some items today. I have a huge mixture of things, which I really like these days because it keeps it interesting. This stuff needs to be cleaned. out my Madonna Lily is flowering. It's so pretty. A few weeks ago you would have seen us cut up this banner grass and so I dried it out for a couple of weeks and then we've popped it into the water. It's got plenty of roots growing and plenty of shoots at the top too. Banner grass is fantastic to put around your garden if you're looking for a chop and drop mulch solution and it's really good for sort of those barren areas or to grow your own chicken feed or to absorb water in an area. It's just an all round really good plant that is a solution to a lot of issues. So if you are not sure what I'm talking about then check if few videos back where I showed you exactly what we do on our property with the banner grass and how it benefited us. So this weekend I'll pop that into our garden because we had two spots that the last plants had died so I'll pop them back in those spaces that are waiting ready for a plant to go in. Good luck little buddies. Go strong. I have been editing YouTube all day and so I'm just outside enjoying a nice smoothie before I head in and do all of my postage for tonight. Bailey is pretty tired too. Hey pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a rest in the sun. So it is a public holiday today and we have just been relaxing at home which has been wonderful and I've just been scrolling on Facebook Marketplace having a look if there's any good deals out there and there is. Somebody's selling a bundle of um, a Wii with the Wii Fit board, all the controllers and a bunch of games. He also has a Nintendo 64 bundle and so I messaged, asked if it was still available and if anything else was available and he said yes there's also a place PlayStation 2 bundle with everything with it. So let's go get it. Oh, wow. 
this has got to be the best video game pickup ever. Let's go through it. We've got the Wii, the console games. I haven't gone through any of the games. I don't know anything yet. All of these games, they seem like pretty basic games. Haven't tested anything either, so we have to do all of that tonight. Uh, and then we've got Numchucks microphones. And then I always get caught out with Wii controllers. We've got two very clean controllers. They're perfectly fine. One that I'll need to clean and one that is totally unsalvageable. So unfortunately can't do anything with that. But three out of four, pretty good. The same with the Wii Fit boards. I've been stuck out a couple of times where the batteries have been left in the back. This one is fantastic and clean. So then we've got the PS2. We've got an iToy camera, two controllers, one a PS1 controller, but that's okay. So the console is a slim PS2, which is better than the fat one, and it comes with a memory card as well. These are all of the games. Again, I don't think there's anything amazing. Uh, one PS2 game, sorry, one PS1 game as well. Just let me know in the comments. Can you see anything that's pretty amazing? And two... Nintendo 64s. So we've got this one, which is obviously a special edition. He said this one definitely works. He's not sure about this one. It was a spare. So, and these are the cords that come with it. So <laughs> some good wiring there. Uh, and then three controllers and all of these games. We've got a couple of double ups as well. But yeah, pretty happy with this pickup. I paid $200 for everything. And I actually messaged him within 14 minutes of him putting up the Wii ad. I was just scrolling on Facebook at the right time, saw it, messaged him, and it went straight over. So very happy for an afternoon pickup like this. So tonight's job is to test everything. It's going to be fun. Now for the fun part. Let's turn it on. Let's see if we've got anything inside. Good start. And it is We Fit. Excellent. Good match with the board. Being a Wednesday night, I don't usually ship out, but because it is a public holiday, I didn't bother shipping last night, which was Tuesday night. So we're doing three days worth of postage, which is Monday, Tuesday, and today, Wednesday, all tonight. So let's go through a few of the things that I've sold. Starting off with this Blue Illusion dress, the buyer actually bought this a probably close to 10 days ago and they said for me to hold on to it and not ship until after the 26th because they were already on holidays and so I'm going to be shipping it out tonight. I've already spoken to eBay chat and apparently there's no defect on my account so we'll just keep an eye on it. If something pops up in the next month uh, there is the note from the buyer in the sale so there should be no issue with getting that removed. It went for $20 plus shipping. These next two went together to the same buyer, which is fantastic. This little top went for 10. This Suzanne top went for 15 plus postage. A really cute rainbow knit jumper that is part wool. And I nearly kept this for myself. And now that it's sold, I wish I had have kept it. And it went for $22 plus shipping. Just a basic sports craft vest 100% Australian merino wool this went for $30 plus shipping a really cute vintage a-line skirt the tag is completely gone this went for $25 plus shipping tonight I'm going to do a mixture of compostable satchels for the clothing and then cardboard boxes for some hard goods and shoes I ship everything 100% plastic free. So let's go through a couple of the items that I'm shipping out today. Here's just a pair of shoes. So I pop them in a box. I put paper tape on them so it's water activated. Goes on, it's really strong. And then I screw up balls of newspaper, put that down, put the shoes in, a plastic free thank you note, and then a few balls of newspaper on the top and that'll keep everything together, secure, it's not bouncing around. And then the labels that go on top are 100% compostable as well. So when my customer receives this package, they can put literally everything into the compost bin and most of it in the recycling bin as well. 
And today I've got a trickier one. So this is a Corning Ware coffee pot and it is quite fragile. So what I'll do is I'll wrap it in newspaper and then I've got this crinkled cardboard and I got rolls and rolls of it uh, free off the side of the road. And I'm still going through it, it's been so handy, but this works very similar to bubble wrap. So I'll put it in a few layers of this. I'll use my plastic free sticky tape. So this is washi tape and it's made out of rice paper. So it's 100% compostable, it breaks down very quickly. And this is really good to use with my plastic free packaging. And then again, once it's all wrapped up into the box, I'll put balls of newspaper around it just so it's not moving around. Then it'll be sealed up with more water activated paper tape and compostable shipping label on top. Something I do quite regularly is I send in recycling to the Flora and Fauna Recycling Program. So we've got toothpaste in here, we've got like little deodorant canisters, uh, pumps for your soap, uh, yeah, little bottles from soap as well. So all of this, they can recycle uh, privately, which is fantastic. So if you send in a small box of recycling, then you get $10 credit to use on their website. And we order stuff from them all the time. So they've got all your home essentials and beauty products and gifts and clothes, lots and lots of things on there to help you on your eco-friendly journey. And to get a $10 credit and help you with your recycling as well is a really good program that they run. So if you're finding it hard to recycle these items, then look into their recycling program. Something else I'm sending out today are these beautiful vintage skirts. Now I got them free in a bulk lot, but most of them, the elastic is gone, nice and crunchy. And so the elastic needs to be replaced in them. I don't know how to do that. And I would rather these go and be used and brought back to life, whether they're turned into skirts again or the material you use for something else. I just want it to be used. So I found a wonderful follower on Instagram who can make use of these skirts. So I'll be sending them out to her today and I can't wait to see what happens with them. First thing first today, I've got to drop off my Australia Post parcels, my Sendal parcels, and then in my boot, I've got a whole bunch of donations, just old stale stock that I want to get rid of. So that's going to Vinnie's and Lifeline. Downstairs, let's go. <laughs> Hello. I have a big bulk lot of dresses that I need to hang up in my wardrobe so that once I get to actually listing them, all the creases have fallen out. So I keep a nice big tub of coat hangers here for that. And this is a, a part of the process that every reseller does differently. So a lot of people will steam all of their items or iron all of their items and and I don't I find that this works enough I just put it into the cupboard and hang it there for a few days or even just overnight and it brings it out nicely if an item is dirty or has a spot stain then I do wash it or I try to get that stain out so I'm definitely not selling dirty clothes the majority of stuff I get isn't dirty and so I don't need to clean every single item and most customers buying secondhand items from eBay are gonna chuck it straight into the wash as soon as they get it. So this is what works for me, but everybody does it differently and it's just what works for you. Okay, so because I did shipping last night, there's just these three beautiful items going out today. So we have this really cute Portman skirt that went for $22 plus shipping. These Frankie Fours, they only came with the hidden support insoles, not the two other sets. So these ones went for $108 plus postage, which is still a really, really good sale. And these Mark Joseph loafers, they went for $25 plus shipping. 
as I'm doing the postage, I've just had those, these two sell. So this one went for $9.10. So it will go in an untracked envelope for $2.20. And then this one went for $25.90. So I will send that tracked. Now that shipping is done for the night, I'm going to get back on to testing these gaming items. So tonight we're testing out the PlayStation. So we've got it plugged in and turned on. Let's see if there's any discs inside. Oh, oh cool. Okay, that's really good because I've got the game. I need to test out the camera and make sure that it works. Excellent. Oh man, nostalgia right here. Let's go, let's get in it. All right. We've got one of the Nintendos working and I'm gonna have to give it a test run with Mario. Let's see how my skills go. is Friday morning and I'm testing these Nintendo 64s again. So I had a really fun night last night playing Mario Kart 64 um, and then I went to try out some different games and nothing was working and I tried unplugging everything, unplugging all the cables, um, turning it on and off, pressing reset, unplugging the cables in the back of the TV, everything. And it wasn't working. So I've had a quick Google this morning. I've had another play around. And one of the forums had the same issue where it was working and then it stopped. And so he said actually pulling the game cartridge back out a few millimeters and it'll start working. So I've given it a go and it works, which is awesome. One of the things I should mention also, which sort of <laughs> explains why I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never seen a Nintendo 64 before. <laughs> Never. This is literally the first one I've ever seen. Um, I've obviously never played one either. Uh, we grew up with PlayStation 2 and Nintendo Wii and we had Game Boy Advances. So my childhood is Crash Team Racing on PlayStation 2 and Ratchet and Clank. They're the two games that like I would spend hours playing. So I know a lot of resellers pick up this old gaming stuff because it's a huge nostalgia hit for them. If I was to find Crash Team Racing in a good condition, I reckon I would have to keep it because <laughs> that's how I feel about that game where a lot of people would feel the same about this Nintendo 64 where for me, this is a real novelty. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just playing around with it, making sure it works so I can pass it on to somebody else who will love it. So let's jump downstairs and I'm going to clean the PlayStation and the Nintendo Wii, photograph it and list it so that we can get that up and flipped as soon as possible. So I'm going to go through everything with Aquium and wipe everything down because it is pretty grubby uh, and then get it over, photograph it and list it. We save all of our broccolini elastic bands and they come in super handy for pickups like this. down week 42. So the amount of items that I listed was 42. <laughs> the total number of sales across all platforms was 37. And the amount of resources that we diverted from landfill back into the circular economy was 28 kilos. 